Sid. Oh, you've overworked yourself yet again. I guess I need to step out of the action for a while. Other than messing with airships, I'm not much use anymore. My hat's off to you, old man. You're really something. Get well, okay? Look after Cecil and Rosa. Don't worry. Just get some rest. You take care of yourselves, you hear? You too. Ugh, alright. Get out of here. Thank you for everything, Sid. We knew you would return. Please join us at the Tower of Pear. One born of a dragon, bearing darkness and light, shall rise to the heavens over the still land. The moon's light eternal brings a promise to the planet with bounty and grace. Everyone, let us pray. Now is the time to make the legend come true. Look, our prayers, our prayers have been answered. There is no doubt. That is the glorious ship, the Lunar Whale. A strange voice addressed me during our prayers. You are to fly to the moon. Someone awaits you there. But how can we possibly get there? The Lunar Whale is a ship which came from that moon. According to our records, there is a crystal inside it which can control its flight. You must find a way to communicate with it, Cecil, and make your way to the moon. I will see what I can do. Welcome. You are... I am Busoya. My duty is to protect the slumber of the Lunarians. The Lunarians? Many, many years ago, there was a small planet between the Red Planet and the Great Behemoth. It was on the verge of destruction, and the species of the planet escaped on a ship to the Blue Planet. However, the species was still evolving, so they created a moon where they could sleep. A long, long slumber. And they are these Lunarians? 
Yes. However, there was one who refused to sleep. Instead, he wished to raise every living thing on the Blue Planet and create a new home there. How awful. I was able to seal him away with my powers and force him to sleep. However, during his deep sleep, he channeled his evil to the corrupt ones on your planet. And now he uses them to gather the crystals. Then he must be the one behind Golbez's actions. But who is he? His name is Zemis. He is gathering the crystals, our energy source, to run the interdimensional elevator. It is located in the Giant of Babel, and with it, he'll destroy everything on your planet. No! However, many Lunarians feel we can come to an understanding with your people. We are merely sleeping and waiting for humans to reach our level of evolution. What about the Lunar Whale? That was built by my younger brother, Kluya, many years ago. He was always enamored with your planet. He used the Lunar Whale to travel to the Blue Planet. He is the one who created the Devil's Road and introduced airship technology to your people. And on the Blue Planet, Kluya fell in love and had children. You are one of his children. I am? Then the voice I heard on Mount Ordeals was... The voice came from the soul of Kluya, your father. I see it now. You resemble him when he was your age. That was the voice of my father? You have received power from Kluya to stop Zemis and his evil plan. You must do this for your planet! For all Lunarians! You must hurry to the Tower of Babel in Eblon. The Tower of Babel? How will we get around its barrier? I should be able to enter. We cannot let the Giant of Babel reach the Blue Planet. I will join you on your journey. Has... We are too late! What do you mean too late? The giant of battle will come forth! What's that? Dwarven tanks, ready to fire! We'll fight along with you for the land, our home! Lally ho! I couldn't sit still and leave you all the responsibility of fighting alone! You can relax now! With my help, this will be a cinch! <laughs> all engines to full power! 
Yes, sir. Hey, y'all. Did you miss me? The Elder restored us. This battle is not yours alone. Everyone must fight for the sake of our planet's survival. I will fight with you, Cecil, with the courage you have given me! Thank you! The giant looks confused! Now is our chance to enter the Giant of Babel! I get it. We're going for the core, right? It's heart! Sid. Approach its mouth! Who is he? Fusoya. Guardian of the Lunarians. Lunarians? Can you do this or not? Ah, keep your beard on. There's nothing I can't do! Now! Hang on! 